What's up YouTube? Just wanted to do a quick video for you this morning. I'm getting over a little bit of a cold. Had a little something in my esophagus, but I'm back. Back in action. Ready to do it. So anyway, quick video. All I wanted to do is just kind of do a review of my Reformation Study Bible in the condensed version. ESV translation. English Standard Version. This is a great Bible. Paste down. Got this little doodad here. I don't know, you Bible people know all this stuff. I just read this thing and preach it. Anyway, this is a great Bible. The leather light feels great in the hand. It feels like it's gonna really hold up for a good good long while. I don't know, it's yet to be seen. I know I've had a lot of those um, bonded leathers and man, they just can't handle it. Um, I had actually one that I carried through high school and it was humongous. And I had the high school back. You know what I'm talking about. You had school books that weighed 65,000 pounds. And then I had a 25-pound study Bible. Yeah, I got the I got the high school back. Anyway, so that was 11 years ago, though. I've grown out of it. Maybe not. But this is just a great, great, great everyday carry beater Bible. I mean, I've thrown it in my bag for work, um, going and preaching, I was doing studies at home. I got this as I started seminary in August, um, presented to Cody Black, by Cody Black, and um, there's a little quote up there. It cross-references to my miscellanies, cross-references to some of my class lectures. There's a couple of classes I've had there, and then I've got these little tabs uh, that I use as I'm going through Romans 9 with my young adults. I can just flip to some of the cross references there. But we're using the ESV journal Bibles and I'm not do a review on those. But the text is, is, is sort of small, but you can still read it. I've used it to preach out of, like I said. I teach out of it. I use it for school. It's got some of these, um, of course, they're condensed uh, commentary notes here at the bottom. Um, I believe the regular Reformation studies got like a million or something like that. Uh, I could be wrong. There was a million. The word million was thrown around somewhere. Anyway, as you get to the end of the Bible, we win, by the way. There's a concordance. I say we win, but Jesus wins. And we're with Jesus. Got this nice concordance. I rarely use the concordance. Some folks use it, you know, religiously. And, um... I, I tell you what I, I try to do is I try to go by a Bible reading plan. This one has one. I went by this for a little while, and then I kind of just did my own. Yeah, you know, just to kind of change stuff up. Weights and measurements. It's a good little reference there. And then, of course, you got your maps. I don't know that I've ever really used maps a whole lot. I'm probably going to start, you know, a little bit later just because some prayer stuff there and then I got these little 3M um, tabs like I said for my cross references but yeah I don't really use the maps a whole lot it's pretty decent for making notes in um, I do little scribbles of course I use the micron pens I try to when I got them handy um, it kind of ghosts a little bit that doesn't drive me crazy some folks it might but it does not bother me <clears throat> and then of course there's an example of one of my cross references that I use. So that goes to one of my lecture notes. So that's hermeneutics lectures number 34. And then I can go back to my little notebook, which is a moleskin or a moleskin, whatever you call this stuff. Man, you technical fellas. Some of you guys are going crazy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this novice. Look at this little man here. He does not know what he's talking about. And then here's one of my miscellanies. So I'm up to 10. I think I wrote 11 this morning. Pretty sure I did. Psalm 11 there. So uh, not too bad in the ghosting area. I mean, you can see through it. It does not look like there's exact line. Yeah, there's some line matching. Yeah, a little bit off. But stuff like that doesn't drive me crazy. It's just a great... It's a great, great, great study Bible. Of course, each each book has its introduction, yeah, title, author, date, occasion, 
kind of gives you those things. So this is a great, great study Bible. It comes with one ribbon. Uh, it is, there's no art gilding. And it is a sewn or Smith sewn, sewn binding. You know what I'm trying to say. But look at that. Look at that quality right there. That is me trying to do my own art gallery. <laughs> Don't laugh. I've done enough for you. So, anyway. Oh, he's in the page there. See how slow it was? Boom. So, anyways, guys. I hope you could take advantage of this. It is a smaller version. I think it's like 5 inches by maybe 8 inches by maybe just a little over an inch. So, uh... Take advantage of this. This is a great Bible. There is some great study notes in it, some cross-referencing, and it's just a good Bible to use. And again, like I said, I've used it preaching a couple times, and I definitely use it when I'm teaching my young adults class and even my youth. And so it, it's not hard to use, and it's great for your everyday carry. You're not carrying that huge Reformation study Bible, which I'll probably do a review on that. But um, I hope you like this, like this video. Uh, comment, subscribe, and uh, that way that kind of tells me what you guys are looking for. Um, maybe some more of the teaching videos and things. Last time I was a little bit rushed, but I want to say thank you for all those who did pray. Maybe for my uh, stepfather-in-law. He did have open heart surgery. He made it through the surgery. He's recovering well, and all glory goes to God for that. So I appreciate you guys' times. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next time. Thank you, guys. God bless.